in a very significant development a tripartite peace deal has been signed between government of india the manipur government and one of the oldest rebel groups operating in northeast the united national liberation front of manipur it is a valley based uh, militant organization or uh, insurgent group which has been active for decades particularly in the valley region of manipur it is one of the oldest uh, active insurgent group of manipur and a very uh, big group which couple of years back got divided into factions after its uh, you know once chief uh, the royal seon of M manipur uh, rk megain who used to lead this organization for years together he was remember he was first arrested in bangladesh handed over to india he served a jail term in guwahati uh, central jail and now he is in imphal he is no more active in the organization but after rk megain's arrest subsequently couple of years back the organization uh, suffered a split and that had led to a uh, kind of a you know uh, uh, you know weakening of strength of unlf uh, nonetheless unlf is a very important militant organization and therefore uh, the fact that they have signed a faction of unlf has signed a uh, peace deal in manipur is a very significant development it comes in line with central government's policy over the years ever since narendra modi became prime minister uh, that is to bring more and more rebel groups from northeast uh, to the mainstream so that uh, you know peace can be established in the region and this has been one of the uh, you know success of the modi government and this comes just months before for uh, the you know uh, general elections in 2024 so this is something which is going to be a, a kind of a boost for the bjp uh, in the north and more so in manipur uh, this is going to be a major develop uh, is a major development given the fact that uh, since may 3rd there have been uh, this ethnic unrest in manipur over 200 people are dead and the kind of uh, uh, distrust that has developed between particularly uh, the uh, majority community in the valley region the methes and uh, uh, the kukis who are a very important tribe of manipur, manipur and therefore with about 25 uh, you know uh, tribal insurgent groups in uh, suspension of ceasefire and a separate uh, peace initiative being talked about uh, for them and being discussed with center between the you know uh, the uh, tribal rebel groups particularly the kuki groups and uh, the government of india now uh, with unlf uh, a faction of unlf uh, coming over ground to hold peace talks this might open uh, the flood gates for other uh, you know valley based uh, groups to come forward for peace talk and that might uh, lead to uh, um, more of a peace resolution in manipur at least in terms of trying to solve uh, the problem of insurgency uh, which otherwise we have seen uh, has actually aggravated the ethnic unrest that manipur uh, is witnessing and therefore Uh, is very significant. It is also significant given the fact that for uh, a long time now, uh, on the other side of the borders uh, with Manipur, you have Myanmar, where there is, uh, uh, you know, you after the military coup, there have been a steady flow of refugees, particularly in uh, uh, Mizoram and also Manipur as well. But uh, all these rebel groups of Manipur uh, have maintained their bases in. Myanmar and therefore uh, with the you know uh, the democratic pro democratic resistance forces and the Myanmar army uh, fighting each other and the war intensifying along the border region therefore uh, when the rebel groups of india which also uh, have hideouts in Myanmar are coming for uh, peace talks this is perhaps also uh, makes the situation more comfortable for india given the fact that manipur is india's gateway to southeast asia as far as surface transport is uh, service uh, communication is concerned and therefore it is very important uh, as far as the national security is concerned what we have picked up from uh, sources within, within the government that uh, chief minister biren singh actually paid a uh, uh, played a very uh, Uh, key role in terms of getting uh, the rebel groups to talking table he has played a very important role so this is going to be a very big moral booster for the biren singh government as well uh, which has faced a lot of criticism because of the ethnic unrest and for center ahead of the 2024 general election this is definitely something that uh, uh, it is uh, going to uh, uh, you know help center uh, 
in, in the fact that uh, it has been able uh, to bring more and more rebel groups of northeast to talking tables to sign agreements and uh, it has been able to bring uh, several restive areas of northeast uh, uh, you know uh, under control and peace has prevailed like in borderland in assam and now therefore in the valley region of manipur the UN, uh, factions of unlf coming over ground to start a peace process it def is definitely a very significant development in the backdrop of the ethnic unrest and ahead of the 2024 general elections